In recent news, the largest active volcano in the world has erupted for the first time in nearly 40 years, causing concern for those living nearby. The eruption lasted several days and has raised questions about the nature of volcanoes and their impact on the planet. When we think of volcanoes, the first thing that comes to mind is an eruption, hot lava, gases, and volcanic ash can escape from beneath the Earth's surface through cracks created by these volcanoes in the crust. While volcanoes are undoubtedly one of the most destructive forces on Earth, there are four basic types of volcanoes. Shield volcanoes, mid-water ridges, calderas, and stratovolcanoes. No matter how they may appear, volcanoes have all contributed to shaping the planet as it is now. On average, more than 50 volcanoes erupt each year, creating some of the most productive soils on Earth. Eruptions occur more regularly where tectonic plates collide. But these volcanic explosions are incomparable to those from supervolcanoes. Currently, there are more than 15 no active volcanoes worldwide. But only 20 supervolcanoes are recognized. These supervolcanoes are rare, but the explosions they produce have an explosive power of 8 on the volcanic explosivity index, with 8 being the highest number on the scale. Yellowstone National Park in the western United States is home to one of these supervolcanoes. Officials from the park have issued a warning about a potential disaster that may occur. So, what precisely is happening in Yellowstone Park? And should we be worried about the impending catastrophe that is unavoidable? Yellowstone National Park is a well-known tourist attraction, drawing in nearly 4 million visitors annually. The park is renowned for its wildlife and numerous geothermal features, such as mud pots, hot springs, fumaroles, travertine terraces, and geysers. Visitors flock to see these natural wonders, making it one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. However, beneath the park's beauty lies a potential threat. The Yellowstone Caldera, a massive volcanic crater, is the result of several super eruptions that occurred millions of years ago. The most recent eruption, which took place 640,000 years ago, created the Caldera as it is known today. More than 240 cubic miles of ash, rock, and pyroclastic debris were ejected by the explosion, covering an area of 5,790 square miles. The movement of the Yellowstone Caldera floor has concerned some scientists, with the recent upward migration of the Yellowstone hotspot leading to an increase in activity. Between 2004 and 2008, the Caldera moved almost 75 million meters, which is more than three times greater than ever measured. However, subsequent studies have revealed that the area experienced a period of subsidence or sinking. In 2010, the caldera's largest vertical movement was noted, with an overall raise in this location of up to 27 centimeters. Currently, the Yellowstone supervolcano is covered in liquid magma, but according to geologists, there is not enough magma present to prompt a catastrophic eruption anytime soon. Nevertheless, if the volcano were to erupt violently again, the region would experience regional consequences, including falling ash and possible long-term changes in the climate. Pyroclastic flows would have a significant impact on areas nearest to Yellowstone, while other areas would be affected by the falling ash. Yellowstone National Park in the western United States is home to one of the world's few supervolcanoes, the Yellowstone Cone. Officials from the park have issued warnings about the impending disaster that could occur due to a catastrophic eruption. The park, with its almost 4 million annual visitors, is renowned for its wildlife and geothermal features, which draw a large number of visitors each year. However, Yellowstone's history dates back much further than the park's establishment. Native Americans began hunting and fishing in the area at least 11,000 years ago, and John Coulter, a member of the Lewis and Clark expedition, was the first European American to set foot in Yellowstone in the winters of 1807 and 1808. Coulter's observations of the area's geothermal features were dismissed as delirium, and the location was given the name Coulter's Hell. Today, Yellowstone National Park is home to more than half of all hydrothermal features on the globe, including mud pots, hot springs, fumaroles, travertine terraces, and geysers. In March 1872, it was established as the first national park of the United States, and many people believe it to be the first national park ever created. The park extends into Idaho and Montana, covering a total area of 3,468 square miles. Despite Yellowstone's breathtaking beauty, its potential for disaster cannot be ignored. The Yellowstone Cone supervolcano is capable of producing catastrophic eruptions with an explosive power of 8 on the volcanic explosivity index, the highest number on the scale being 8. Officials have issued warnings about the disastrous occurrence that is going to occur, and the impending catastrophe is unavoidable. While the unpredictability of volcanic systems makes it uncertain when such an event will occur, it is important to remember that Yellowstone's volcanic history spans millions of years, and a catastrophic eruption 
could have far-reaching consequences for the environment and people living in the surrounding area. Its generosity is demonstrated by the fact that it produced an enormous outcrop of the volcanic rock obsidian, which is situated in the obsidian cliff located between Mammoth Hot Springs and Norris Giza Basin. The obsidian cliff is a significant location for prehistoric people, and it was a significant supplier of high-quality obsidian for North America. Obsidian is an igneous rock that forms as a naturally occurring volcanic glass when lava ejected from a volcano rapidly cools with little to no crystal formation. This black glass is capable of being sharpened to an extremely thin edge that is 10 times sharper than a razor blade. When visiting Yellowstone Park, you should also be on the lookout for bison. African and Asian water buffaloes are distant relatives of bison. The American bison, which inhabit prairies and plains, have a virtually ideal environment because of the park's extensive grasslands and alpine meadows. The park may be the only location in the country where bison roam freely and have persisted in the wild without ever being imported. Thus, the next time you share a road with bison, in addition to other travelers, feel free to gaze upon these enormous wild diamonds. There are about 67 species of animals, 300 species of bones, 16 types of fish and bison living together in Yellowstone National Park. As a matter of fact, did you know that Yellowstone has the largest number of mammalian species in the US? These creatures include grizzly bears, wolves, lynx, foxes, moose and elk among others. Although you might feel the need to touch these magnificent animals, the park meticulously adheres to its wildlife safety regulations to protect visitor safety. According to the rules, you must keep a distance of 100 yards or more from wolves and bears and 25 yards or more from other large creatures. Nevertheless, there is something even more dangerous than bears and wolves in Yellowstone Park, and you can't even flee from it when it pursues you. These dangerous entities are volcanoes. Canyons, mountain ranges, rivers, and lakes make up Yellowstone. One of these lakes, Yellowstone Lake, is known as one of the biggest high elevation lakes in North America and is situated above the Yellowstone Caldera, the biggest supervolcano on the continent, only rivaled by Sumatra's Lake Tuba Caldera. Although anyone else could be mesmerized by Yellowstone, do not be deceived by its beauty. Yellowstone is a volcanic area and beneath it is a vast, over 5 mile deep reservoir of heated lava. The calderas in this region were produced by massive eruptions that occurred millions of years ago. Despite the fact that volcanism and Yellowstone occur often, a caldera is a sizable depression that develops on the Earth's surface as a result of a volcano's eruption and subsequent collapse. The Yellowstone calderas are located below the Yellowstone Plateau above the Yellowstone hotspot. It is vital to remember that during a period of approximately 16.5 million years, the Yellowstone hotspot has produced several eruptions and innumerable floods of basaltic lava, at least a dozen of which have been categorized as mega eruptions due to their extreme magnitude and ferocity. Three extraordinarily violent eruptions have taken place in Yellowstone over the past 2.1 million years. The most recent, which took place 640,000 years ago, is what created the Yellowstone caldera as it is known today. More than 240 cubic miles of ash, rock, and pyroclastic debris were ejected by the explosion. Scientists noted that this explosion produced a massive area that was about 1 km deep and 45 by 28 miles in size, more than 1,000 times larger than the mountain. Helen's eruption of 1980, the Mesa Falls Tuff and Henry's Fort Caldera were both formed by the second eruption, a relatively smaller volcanic explosion that took place 1.3 million years ago. The initial eruption of Yellowstone, which took place 2.1 million years ago, was the most powerful one. Almost 6,000 times as much material was thrown from the explosion than from the most recent Yellowstone eruption, which covered an area of 5,790 square miles. The three super air machines produced enormous volumes of ash that covered most of central North America and had a recurrence interval of between 600,000 and 800,000 years. The quantity of volcanic materials that fell from distances of many hundreds of miles had an enormous effect on global weather patterns and caused the extinction of several species. Considering that the movement of the Yellowstone caldera floor was more than three times greater than ever measured. The recent upward migration of the Yellowstone hotspot has amazed scientists but concerned some residents. Between 2004 and 2008, the caldera moved by almost 75 mm since monitoring began in 1923, but subsequent studies revealed that the country experienced a period of subsidence or sinking in the White Lake GPS station inside the caldera rim. The caldera's largest vertical movement was noted, and the overall raise in this location in 2010 was up 
up to 27 centimeters. Now the Yellowstone supervolcano is covered in much more liquid magma. However, according to geologists, there is not nearly enough magma present to prompt a catastrophic eruption anytime soon. So what will happen if Yellowstone erupts for the fourth time? If Yellowstone saw another huge violent eruption, the region would experience regional consequences, including falling ash and possible long-term changes in the climate. Pyroclastic flows would have a major impact where Yellowstone is nearest. The tremendous explosion would be felt everywhere, while other areas would be affected by the falling ash. You might be asking why we should be concerned about ash falling. Now, the truth is that ordinary ash is much less harmful than volcanic ash. Rock mineral crystals and volcanic glass fragments are among the abrasive components of volcanic ash. In the worst case situation, if the ash is inhaled, the particles will damage the lungs, choking the person to death. These dangerous particles are capable of scraping the surface of the skin and eyes, producing irritation. The potential danger of a supervolcanic eruption in Yellowstone National Park highlights the unpredictable and destructive nature of volcanoes. While the likelihood of such an event occurring anytime soon is uncertain, it is crucial to take precautions and stay informed about potential hazards. Yellowstone's natural beauty and wildlife continue to attract millions of visitors each year. But it is important to remember that beneath its surface lies a potential threat. As we continue to learn more about the behavior of volcanoes, we must also strive to take steps to protect ourselves and the environment from their potential devastation. If you enjoyed this video on Yellowstone Super Volcano and its potential impact, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. And feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on the topic.